What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up, Craig? <laughs> where my Friday? Where my Friday fans at? <laughs> my fan. Uh, yeah, I definitely got a problem, y'all. Um, I got an addiction. Um, well, let me tell you what's going on with me in this podcast. Well, it's not all bad, but like, let me start off with the kind of good. Instacart came back to me, so there's that. You know, I don't know how long it's gonna do this, but they came back. You know. The past, I guess, it was like three days. I'd say uh, Tuesday through whenever I posted it. Tuesday through um, to Friday. It was just like dead, you know what I'm saying? No batches available. And I was kind of panicking because like, I'm trying to stack up some more money. I was even thinking about delivering some pizzas, you know, on the side hustle on Saturday and Sunday. I've been researching a lot of... As I said in the last video, I've been researching a lot of uh, pizza delivery people, you know, um, just to get some more money because um, I'm trying to get out of this state, you know. You know, I've been saying this for a while. I've been freaking bullshitting, you know, just not doing what I was supposed to be. Oh, so anyways, Instacart came back, so. I had to make up. Usually I hustle after work every day, but I couldn't hustle after or after the gym every day. So I couldn't hustle after the gym because it was closed. And I guess somebody had got killed in Washington. And then I just seen, you know, I don't watch the news. So I don't know unless it pops up in YouTube feeds or something. So I just seen they had somebody got killed up here. Um, a black man by the police. And there's protests going on uh, Friday. I had no clue. Um... Yeah, so there's that. Um, uh, so maybe that had something to do with Instacart slowing down. But then it did it again. So Saturday, I got up off my ass. You know what I'm saying? These last couple Saturdays, if you've been following my my uh, podcast, I've been laying around on Saturdays feeling sorry for myself or just hung over because I was out partying, you know, the night before. Um, uh, so I got up off my ass. And hustle, you know, first I went to the gym Saturday morning. I'd be going, like, far out to this, like, suburb gym. And, oh, my gosh, there's so many baddies at that gym. But I didn't shoot my shot with anybody. Um, I just, I wasn't, I didn't really feel like talking to anybody, you know. Um, I just uh, kept to myself. Even though I should have talked to people, but I talked to people during the day, you know, when I was doing Instacart. Uh, but, yeah, uh. <clears throat> what I do? Um, I hit legs. Uh, hit legs hard. Legs are always on a Saturday. Um, I hit legs twice a week. If you want to know, um, went to do Instacart. Nothing too special. Uh, I think I shot my shot a couple times in the store, but I got shot down. I got shot down like all weekend long. You know, maybe it's because my my game wasn't tight. You know, but uh, uh, it was either. I got the whole boyfriend thing. I got one number and she was a flake. I shot my shot like I probably like five or six times this weekend in the stores. Um, one in the gym today. I got shot down. And she said I had a boyfriend um, right off top. Um, I think that's just a defense mechanism for some chicks. Like, oh, I got a boyfriend. Is that like a defense mechanism? Like, so you don't have to talk to the person or something? Um... Because some of the chicks just say it right off the top. Not all chicks, you know. But, uh, anyways. <sighs> did Instacart for a while. Actually, I did Instacart, like, all day. And I was, like, $3 away from making $200. I wanted to do, um, I made 197 Saturday. I wanted to do, uh, I wanted to do 200 I was grinding. I grinded for, like, um, probably, like, Seven hours. One ninety seven. That's not bad. Seven hours. Is it? I don't know. I gotta do the math. Maybe it's not. But I need to make that money up. Anyways, that pound, baby. So one ninety seven. I and then and then you know towards the end of the night. Look, here goes another loss. You know some bullshit. My damn headlight goes out. Look, if you got a old car, I know you want to soup it up and. And do nice things to it, you know. Put the rims on and everything. I don't got any, like, 
rims, but I got a nice paint job. Um, I did have rims on it like three years ago, but that shit's a waste of money. Rims are a waste of money because they fucking, if you live in a cold state, you got to switch them out in the winter time. My cheap ass didn't switch them out. I rolled them for like two years to the winter. They got absolutely demolished. <sighs> oh, why am I tired like this? Because I was working. But, uh, yeah. My cheap ass didn't switch them out. Riding rim, 20 inch rims in the winter time. <laughs> they were all messed up when I, um, I sold, I actually sold them for like $100. I spent like, I think like 600 with the tires. So, yeah, <laughs> got two years out of them. Um, uh, but they're just rims are a waste of money, you know. Um, they weren't the chrome ones, they were like the black ones. But, uh, yeah, anyways, if you're gonna do aftermarket lights, prepare for a lot of trouble. Like, I got these aftermarket headlights, and they look cool as hell on my car, but they've given me so much trouble, like, so much trouble. Like, the wood goes out, another one goes out, the wires, oh, damn. Come here, my bad, baby. Fluffy. Fluffy. Damn, I accidentally hit her on the head with the charger. Fluffy, come here. You okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. You all right? Come here. Anyways, um, you all right? Damn, I accidentally hit her on the head. She ran away, baby. It's okay. You okay? She's all right. She just got startled. I didn't hit her hard. But, uh... Come here, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> We're yawning. Guess it's better than burping and shit in the video. Um, But, uh... What is that? Oh, that's the light. What is that? Come here. It's okay, baby. Um, yeah... The aftermarket headlights just keep going out. You know what I'm saying? They just keep, like, fizzing out. They, I'm thinking about just putting normal headlights in because I'm having so many problems with these things. They last for, like, a good six, seven months and something else goes wrong with it. And I just got to keep on messing with it. It's just a fr freaking headache, you know? So, one of the headlights are out now. Like, the DRL is still going. Um, like, that strip, you know? I got one of those strips. But, like, the headlight's out now. And I got a ghetto rig, like, wired by a mechanic, so, like, I can't get into the wires. So, I got to take it to a shop. I still got to... <sighs> I still got to change out my bumper, um, which I'll probably do this week. That's $850 out of my pocket. Shit, y'all. Shit. Fucking... Oh, man, bullshit, like... I should just, like, not do it, but, like, I love my car, you know? I love, you know, it's, like, the only, like, really nice thing I got. And my car treats me right, so you got to treat your car right, you know? Whatever kind of car you got, treat it right, and it will treat you right, you know? Because my car hasn't broke down on me. I had my car for almost, say, six years, something like that? Yeah, six years. Good because that old ass car, man. You look, bro. I'm not paying four or five hundred dollars a month for a car. No, my car's paid off. So there's that. <laughs> you know, um, and it gets me from A to B, and it's it's pretty clean. So um, yeah. So the headlights out. Anyways, there's some more headache for me. Um, Saturday night I had like. I had Chinese from last Sunday when I was chilling with the cokehead chick. If you see my last podcast, still in the fridge. So I ate a week old Chinese. I didn't get sick though. I I don't know if you. I got really like tired, maybe like super tired and shit. So I ate that. Ooh. Um. And uh. Y'all, I got a. When I said I got a problem, like, freaking, I went six days. I'm trying to quit. If you guys don't know, I'm trying to quit porn. But, like, I keep on, like, relapsing on porn and shit. And I, I just don't want to watch this shit anymore. <laughs> like, I don't know why. I got an addiction. Like, I don't watch it every day. But, like, I'll go, like, a week. Maybe two weeks. And then I'll go back to watching it for, like, 
a day. And when I get on it, I'll spend like two hours on it. Two hours watching, just scrolling through videos. It's not good, man. And I, I did that on a Saturday night. That's some real loser shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the hell are you doing? Like, I like I'm, I keep it 100% real with y'all. Like, Saturday night, I spent two hours watching porn. Like, yo, like, what's wrong with you? I was going to watch a movie, and then I just started... I got that urge, you know? And uh, I just started clicking through it, and I got a problem, y'all. And I need to fix it. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm saying I'm done after the day, but, like... I've said that so many times. And I can see, like, how people, like, get addicted to shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I also got a YouTube addiction. I stay on YouTube so much. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me. And then, you know, like, I'm sleeping with women. It's not like, I'm not getting a whole bunch of sex, but, like, um... It's like, why are you doing that? Like, why do you keep reverting back to that? And I was talking to my homeboy about it. He's like, it's like a, it's literally like a drug. Like, he struggled with that too. So we chop it up and stuff, you know? Like, that shit just consumes you. And I, I just don't want to do it. You know what porn is like? It's like Get Out. Remember Get Out? If you haven't seen Get Out with Jordan Peele, you know where the people take over black people's body and they put them in a sunken place. When you, I feel like when you watch that shit, and you, you you beat off to it and shit. Um, you're going back into a sunken place, like uh, like uh. Remember the dude he kept falling in the sunken place, his real self, and the other person was possessing his body. That's what I feel like. Like I low key like people say, watch it in um, watch it in um. And some people it doesn't affect people like this, but me honestly. Like, I feel like it affects my confidence, you know what I'm saying? When I'm watching that shit, I don't feel as confident in myself when I'm approaching a woman or just, you know, talking to people in public, you know? I feel that 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 nervous shell, you know, come over me, you know? And when I go, like, a, a couple days, even four days without beating my shit or watching porn, you know, um, I feel, like, more confident. I can tell the difference from when I just watched it to after I watched it. Now today, like I watched it, you know what I'm saying? I watched that shit, like I watched it Saturday night and then I woke up in the morning and beat my shit in the morning. I keep it real, child, you know what I'm saying? I'm straight real. Um, No shame in my game, you know? You can call me lame, whatever. I don't give a shit. None of y'all, the people who hate on me or, or talk shit about me, they don't pay my bills, so I, I really don't give a shit, you know? <laughs> I pay my bills. I take care of me, you know? So, anyways, um, back on subject. Uh, yeah, I beat my shit this morning. Then I went out. Um, I went to the gym. Uh, but I didn't sit on it for like a couple hours. I pulled up a video, found me a video I like, you know. Smacked it off. Quick one. Let's go. <laughs> um, went to the gym. Um, I just did. It, it was Sunday that when I went. Um, I just did what I'm going to start doing on Sundays. I usually don't go to the gym on Sundays. But, uh what I'm going to start doing on Sundays is uh, cardio, like 30 to 40 minutes of cardio, which I did. I did the stairs, and then I'm going to do some ab work, you know, because summer's coming. I want my body just, mm. if you ain't in the gym, you know what I'm saying? It's winter time. It's the best time to get in shape, you know. If you ain't in the gym, get your ass in the fucking gym, man. Like, get in the gym. Like, I know I still be beating my mean stuff, but, like, I don't let that affect my gym. You know, I love the gym. The gym, oh my gosh, that is like my sanctuary. I love going to the gym. I just, I'm obsessed with it. I'd be actually like mentally mad when I can't go to the gym. When I miss a gym day, it just like ruins my day. I love the gym. I love working out, you know? It's not even for like, you know, um, uh, it's not even for like um, I don't I don't know how to explain it, but I just love the gym. Some people, you know, they, they say gym rats. I'm the definition of a gym rat. I will be in the gym seven days a week. I love the freaking gym. It's the shit, man. I just love pushing my body to new limits. I love watching my body transform. When you see start seeing your body transform from all the hard work you put in, like shit is crazy, you know, like. It's just not going to be all better because I'm ripped up now, but you know what I'm saying? I'm still struggling with it, like this dirty ass addiction. I'm struggling with mental health and shit. But like, 
when I'm in the gym, I feel like all life's problems just disappear, you know? Like, I don't, I don't, I I channel all that inner pain and anger and shit into the weights, into the cardio, into whatever I'm doing in that gym. And oh my gosh, it just feels so, that's what you need to do. Just channel that rage, that sadness, that anger when you're in the gym and you just, you get it in, you know, you know, shoot your shot when you're in there too. You know, you see a cute girl, you know, go up to her, you know, get shot down. Like today I, I shot my shot and um, so I was at the gym today. Oh, I started doing it. Man, I'm so off topic with this shit. But so I started, um, after I did my cardio, I did some core work. You know, I started doing a little ab. I'm, I'm putting together my own ab workout, you know. It's dope as shit. If I can, like, record it, I'll put it out. But, like, right now, you know, my laptop's still messed up, so I'm still filming on the phone. That's why the video qualities are kind of shitty. And a lot of people don't want to watch my videos because I appreciate the people who do watch my videos. But I don't get the views, like... Like I used to when I used to record it on my camera. But uh yeah. Um I do some core work. So I was doing some core work, right? It was some bad little chick, you know what I'm saying? Actually it was a couple little baddies in there. Um uh this was like ten o'clock in the morning, you know. I did my cardio on the stairs. I'm all sweaty, you know, body's all sweaty, but I'm looking good, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm ripped up, you know. You you gotta you gotta you got to give credit where credit is due. When you've been putting in the work as long as I have, I've been in the gym consistently five years, sticking to a diet five years. The first year was a dud because I didn't know what I was doing. The second year was, eh. The third year, I was getting the hang of shit. The fourth year, I'm on this shit. You know, fifth year, let's get it, you know? Like, got to go through the trial and error. So you got to know where, where credit is due. Like, motherfuckers be looking at me hard as hell when I'm in the gym. When my, my, my muscles be bulging out and shit. You know, guys and girls, because, like, guys want to know, like, how I got there. Like, a lot of guys look up to me in the gym. I ain't going to front. I'm not trying to be cocky or any shit, but a lot of guys told me, like, I'm trying to get like you. A lot of dudes told me that. And you can. All you got to do is be consistent. A lot of people give up. Like, I struggle with this. I give up with shit, you know what I'm saying, in everyday life. Um, like, just, you know, when shit doesn't work out for me, I give up. But one thing I never gave up through throughout those five years is the gym. I suffered so much trial and error. I suffered. And look, I'm turning it into it like a whole gym video. Gym rat. You little gym rat. Yo, a gym guy. <laughs> but I never gave up on that. Everybody was telling me like, man, you ain't going to get buff, man. You ain't going to get buff. I was seeing no results. And finally, my body just started transforming. And it was over for then. And I'm never going to. I'm. Whatever I go through in life, I'm never going to quit on the gym. I'm never going to quit, um, you know, trying to... Sometimes I slip off my diet, but I always seem to make it to the gym. I never miss more than, like... Unless I'm somewhere where I can't physically get there, I never miss more than, like, three three days without the gym, you know? Never. Throughout these whole five years, I always find time to make it to the gym, you know? <laughs> like, that's my sanctuary. I told you, like, I love that place, you know? I love pushing my body to a new limit, you know, um, a lot of people go there just to hang out, me, I go there to push it, I go there and chop it up with people, you know, I keep it real with people, but, like, let me stop, so, anyways, um, I go, uh, what, what uh, I try to talk to this girl while I'm doing my abs, because she's over there, she was looking at me and shit, as soon as I walk up on her, she's like, um, I got a boyfriend, I said, hey, what's your name, she said, I got a boyfriend, like, yo, don't be, that's disrespectful, you know what I'm saying? Like, I asked your name, you don't have to hit me with the boyfriend shit out top, you know what I'm saying? You could tell me your name, maybe I just want to talk to you, you know? You, you never know. But a lot of these chicks out here traumatized, they don't want to do the, so she, I was like, uh, oh, okay, so what are you working on? I try to, you know, play it off, and she's just like, back? I said, oh, just back, huh? And she said, yeah, and tried to put her headphone back in, I said, you're not that talkative, are you? She said, no, I just walked. I was like, all right, I just walked back to doing my abs. Whatever. Chick is a dime a dozen. You know, there's there's always another fish in the sea. And here's the thing with me. I'm kind of like my dad, you know what I'm saying? And what I mean by I'm kind of like my dad is my dad was a huge player. He had like a whole bunch of chicks, you know what I'm saying? A whole bunch of chicks, but my dad was a lame ass dude, you know what I'm saying? Because he'd get all those chicks pregnant. I was in an accident. He had like, I got like, 
probably like 10 brothers and sisters that I don't even know about. You know what I'm saying? My dad's got kids all over the place. I hope he's paying child support out the ass because he just left me hanging, you know? Fuck that dude. But, like, I got that player mentality in my bones. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've won a girlfriend. Like, sometimes I'd be really wanting a girlfriend. But then, like, like I'll find a chick that I like. But then I'll go out in public, and there's another chick that I like. And then there's another chick, like, right over here. And then there's another chick right over there. And I'm not saying I'm sleeping with all these chicks, but it's just, like, I'm never satisfied. I, like, I want to, I want to explore my options. I want to, like, you know, like, I see another chick over there, another chick over there, another chick. I'm not getting with all these girls, but it's, like, it's, it's hard, you know? And when I'm in the store, a lot of these chicks, like, they're risking COVID for me. Like, I'm not even trying... Like, you might think I'm just gassing my head up and shit. Like, oh, like, you think you're just... No, like, I see this shit. Like, I observe people's actions and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, these chicks are taking out their mask and shit and showing their whole face, walking through the store, smiling at me and shit. You know? Some chicks even do it while they're with their boyfriend. It's like, yo, you're wild. One chick in the gym the other day gave me her number. This was just Friday. You know what I'm saying? I said... I said, she told me she got a boyfriend, you know what I'm saying? I said, save my number in it as Amy, you know, so you don't get in trouble with your boyfriend. <laughs> she said, all right. I said, when, my, when our schedules are free, we can get up and hang out, you know? Gave me her number, you know? Now, I'm not always that confident. Sometimes I'm, like, super shy with it because, like, I feel like one of the things is my that, 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 that dirty porn addiction I got messes with my confidence. Um, so when I am beating off, like, but today, just today, I beat off this morning and, like, I shot my shot with, like, four different chicks in the store. They all had boyfriends, but one chick, you know what I'm saying, she walked in with me in the store and I was shooting my shot with her. Her breath stank, though, like, like, I could smell her breath through her mask. That's one thing I noticed. I was like, holy shit, you know, I don't wear a mask in the stores, you know, you can hate me and... Say, oh, you're in. I just, I'm done with that mass shit. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that mass shit should have been left in 2020. It's 2022, you know? Um, if you want to wear a mask, wear a mask. If you want to, you know, wear a mask, wear a mask. But don't force people to wear a mask. That's where I stand at. You shouldn't force people to wear a mask. And that's what they're trying to do in, in my city. Like, we need to keep a mask mandate. Like, I'm not wearing a mask unless you physically tell me I have to put on a mask, but all that sign shit, I'm not wearing a mask, nah, fuck all that, um, so I could smell her breath through the mask, I was like, yo, but she was cool as hell, you know what I'm saying, she was talking to me, and then she told me she, she's been with her guy for like nine years and shit, so then, you know, I came back, I kept seeing her around the store, and we had a little chit chat, and I told her straight up, I said, uh, I asked her if she was single. That's when she said she, yeah, she told me about her man. So then she, she like parked right in front of me because we both got out at the same time, you know? So then I come out to my car and you're probably going to think this is cap, but I come out to my car and there's a rose on my windshield. I got it in my car. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm probably going to give it to another chick on Valentine's Day. <laughs> but she put her, she bought a rose and put it on my window. <laughs> Isn't that crazy, y'all? Like, yo, like. Sometimes you got to just stop, like, doubting yourself and really know who the fuck you are. You know what I'm saying? Like, get in your dog mode. Like, like, I was listening to Drake earlier. You know, you know that song where he's like, yeah, I'm light-skinned, but I'm still a dog, dog nigga. I'm a wig splitter. I'm a dog nigga. I'm an unforgiving, wild-ass dog nigga. Yeah. That's how I am sometimes. But then sometimes I'm like super simpy too, you know? Like I'm like super sensitive and shit, you know? And I got to get in touch. I got to get in tap with my emotions because my emotions be leading me the wrong way. Like with this porn shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm sitting here beating my meat when I could be out here sleeping with beautiful women. But then I feel like that takes a lot of time and energy too, you know? Like because like when I was hooking up, it was cutting into my hustle time because I was drinking, but I don't need really need to drink to kick it. It's just like sometimes I feel like I need the alcohol to get out of my shell. And you're just like, yo, hey, Bender, what are you talking about, man? I don't know. I'm just ranting here, okay? I'm just ranting here. But also, on another note, be fucking friendly to people. Be friendly to people because that really helps. That really helps um, um, increase your... Um, 
your social status, you know, because like I when I talk to people out in public, you know, I'm really friendly. I'd be nice to everybody as long as they're nice to me. Like once you disrespect me, then you're, you it's cut off time. But like I'm nice to people. Be nice to people. Like I said in that video, like it costs nothing to be nice. But like when it comes to dating, I'm not the nicest. I am, um, you know. I'm a nice guy, but I, like I said, I'm also I'm a dog nigga, you know. I'm not gonna excuse me, y'all. I'm not gonna sit here and like sugarcoat shit, you know. I like um. I get around. Round and round, round and go right around, you know. Step, step up, step up. <laughs> but like, yeah. Um, once I can kick this addiction, which I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try my hardest. Like, I'm gonna stop after the day, after this video is being posted. Mark my words. Um, if I say anything else about me slipping up and watching that shit, y'all, call me on the video. You know, um, call me on the video because like, I, I, I don't want to watch that shit anymore. I legit don't want to watch that shit. That shit. Messes with my mental, man. I feel like it's stopping me from... It's keeping me in a sunken place, you know? Like, get out. Like, I'm that dude falling. I always think of that, you know? Oh, falling and, and uh, some something else is taking over my body, you know? <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Um, but, yeah, what else happened this weekend? I didn't reach my money goal is what I usually make, but um, I'm going to hustle even harder next week. And then I'm thinking I'm going to go to Vegas um, March, uh, the second week of March. I put in for vacation. I'm going to buy a plane ticket, fly out there for like five days, check it out, you know, see uh, see what see what it's about, you know, try to find a place. Um, hopefully I can lock the exit, get around. Oh. Get around in those five days. Um, today I hustled. Um, from today I hustled from like twelve to twelve to uh, I don't know. Twelve to what was it? Twelve to like five. I was gonna go a little more, but I was just like, eh, I'm good. You know, I gotta do my taxes still. I'm praying that I don't owe the IRS a lot of money. I've been um, tracking my my miles and keeping my gas receipts, you know, so we can see how that goes, how much I got to pay back. Uh, I don't want to come off as, like, a dick or, like, I'm bragging in this video because, like, I'm just saying, like, I'm just trying to help y'all out, like, y'all who think, like, um... I don't know really where I'm going with this podcast, y'all. I don't, like, I don't. I, I just want to be, remember that song by Drake? I just want to be successful. I want the money. Money in the hole. Cars in the clothes, I suppose. I'm going to listen to that song after this. I just want to be, I just want to be successful. That's all I want to be is successful in something, you know? I just feel like. I'm wasting time, but like I know, I, I know, I know when I move, shit's gonna work out. I just gotta be positive. I gotta stay positive, even when shit ain't positive. Like, yo, you just got like, no, nah, I don't want to even say no bad shit because I don't want to wish anything. But like, you know that toxic positivity. Be happy all the time. That's just not real, y'all. You can't be happy twenty four seven, man. Like, it's just not how life works. It's just not how the world works, you know. Um. Uh, I don't know, y'all. Like, I'm pretty much done with that one chick, you know, the party chick. I'm good. We're on, like, way different wavelengths, you know. I'm just, nah, I'm cool. I'm just gonna keep shooting my shot and try to find something. Um, and you know what's crazy? Like, I say, I tell you guys, like, for the guys that watch my channel, um, shoot your shot. Like, the times I didn't shoot my shot... Like, there, I, 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 there's a lot of chicks that give me, like, crazy choosing signals, and I don't say nothing. I just be shy and don't say shit. And then I end up regretting it. You know what I'm saying? Why live with regrets? Just do it. You know what I'm saying? One guy was like, one guy commenting was like, um, I think I'm going to shoot my shot with this girl that, uh, that, uh, I see every day. Like, shoot your shot, bro. Like, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Like, 
Um, just Thursday, there, when I do my delivery job, we go to I go to this warehouse and it's tr I drive a truck, and I pick up like product at this warehouse and the receptionist chick is always like flirty with me, and I, this is an honest conversation. You're probably gonna be like, yo, this is cat, but it's not. Um, she's always flirting with me and she's telling me shit about her. And I said, what are you doing this weekend? It was Thursday when when I went there, and she was like. Oh, I'm going to this little thing with my boyfriend. She was like, do you got a girlfriend? I was like, nah, you want to be my girlfriend? And she was like, I got a boyfriend, though. I was like, so? She was like, but we can be friends, though. I said, with benefits? I said this, bro. Like, I didn't, like, sometimes, like, my, my dog, it comes out of me. And I feel like with this porn shit, it blocks my fucking, it blocks my, um... I don't want to, I'm my, 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 my confidence, you know, I said that shit and I was surprised I said that shit and I said it with a straight face, you know what I'm saying, not all cheesy, like, I was like, nah, we can be friends with benefits, she was like, whoa, you're crazy, <laughs> I swear she said that, bro, I was just like, yeah, she was like, she was like, um, she was like, um, what'd she say, she, she, she just started talking more about her shit. And then I was just like, have a good weekend. She was like, yeah, you have a good weekend, too. You know, I'll flirt you with it, you know. And if I really wanted to, you know what I'm saying, I could. What is it? Oh, what's up? Can a nigga get in them? <laughs> you know? You know, that dog is in me. And I just got to, like, I'm not saying I want to be, like, a dog. Because, like, like. Low-key, I want a chick, you know, on my side. But then again, I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want, you know. Because, like, I'm never satisfied. Maybe it's something I got to work on. My mental health, I got to work on that. And, yeah, I got to get off this stuff because it's, like, almost 10 o'clock, y'all. I got to go to sleep, wake up in the morning. <sighs> Back to the grind. Back to the grind. I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Y'all stay good, bless, all that.